and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca. Happy 24th of June already. Uh, we are well into the 20s now. Um, I hope everybody is having an amazing day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. Um, I think I need to scoot this up a little bit more just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, we are well and truly tucked over to this side for this one. Uh, but, oh look, we're doing a little fish tank. I didn't even realise that was a fish tank until I looked up at the camera and could sort of then see it properly. Um, but yeah, we are on this section today. So I'm going to get out my ABs and start with those. Oh, maybe I'm going to do some multi-placing ABs. I wasn't going to bother for these bits, but I've just seen some rooks of it down here. So let me grab my multi-placer, zoom you in. Uh, we are on a bit of a busier section, to, a bigger section, sorry, today. Um, just because my painting didn't, it was a little bit too big for 30 pieces of cover paper, uh, which in one way is good because it meant I didn't need to cut any down, uh, which could potentially mean that they're not big enough for a future painting. So I would rather have it uh, this way um, than necessarily having to cut quite big chunks off the cover paper. It's not like I can't get some more, but still. I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit of a waste when it's only for the purpose of sort of one event um, and this will allow me to use them for many more potentially in the future. Um, but yeah, it does mean that we end up with a few longer whip and waffles for the bigger pieces, uh, which in this instance, most of them are nearer the end of the whip and waffle, or at least in the 20s. We've got another one on the 26th, and I think uh, we did have another one recently. Uh, it wasn't quite as bitty as this one, so I think it definitely was a quicker one the last time. But anyway, to get on to comments, questions, etc. Amy uh, says she has to fix where her washing line gets guided. Um, around the pole at her flat um, as some person she put it that's the nice way of saying it she wants to call them something else uh, decided to climb the pole and um, it was on and use it to get up so they've definitely not done her any favors um mysterious days she says she is watching this while she um, wakes up before she showers and gets ready for her science test. Uh, she said she won't be able to finish all of it, uh, but she will be able to watch at least a little bit uh, and then have about an hour and a half with today's waffle uh, to watch once she gets home from the test. Um, she says she'll be taking a laptop uh, in case she gets the bug to get it fixed afterwards uh, but she doesn't know for sure if she will be or not either way she says she's getting a hamburger tonight <laughs> either way hamburgers happening uh, she said on Hugo Hege uh, she's on the last row with about four to five sections left she said it is so close uh, she says she doesn't know what kit she will work on next. Either it will be finishing a budget one uh, that's got very dusty drills or she'll be working on Cosmic Trip. Well, I am sure you will make the right decision um, and potentially get a diamond painting finished. Uh, she also says, she says, just a thought for Tweety. Uh, or with the quilting frame that they aren't using. Uh, she said, and Rebecca, she said, perhaps it's a resale 
type of thing um, she says but instead just enough to send the mail frame in the mail if it's not too much for either of you um, I mean to be honest I'm not quite sure how I would use a quilting frame um, or at least I don't see how I'd use one at the moment uh, it doesn't mean I wouldn't but um, it's probably best something for her to sell if she doesn't want to use on Facebook marketplace or something something local that can be picked up uh, Monique says good morning uh, she says we have a rainy day today uh, but she's happy to be with us all and the zesty people <laughs> love it love the way I don't know who came up with the name of zesty people but I love the way it's going right is that all my ABs it is so let's bob that one away and then find this one here we go let's just block where my battery is charging to try and make it so I can actually get to my diamonds which is nice uh, she said she also wanted to say uh, that she really likes the putty um, the one that is jasmine the one that smells of jasmine she says it's really nice and she said thank you for a fast delivery well I am glad you are enjoying it I need to replace the putty in this one soon and I've just realised if I end up doing this on camera it would be very helpful if I brought in to my space Tropical Twist because I think that's the one I'd like to put in it next. A uh, bit of summer vibes, that or Ocean, Ocean Escape but I'm thinking I might want to put Tropical in. But I'm wondering if it's going to last that long. We shall see. Got quite a bit of multi-placing on here. So if it does get to the point that I need to just change my putty, I might just do it. Because I've been saying it for days, but it's actually not behaving as bad as it was beforehand. Um, Sharks and Diamonds. She says, hi, Rebecca. She says, long comment ahead. Oh, hang on. I've got a multi-placer that's now playing up because I've been talking about it. Um, she says her name is Brooke. She says she's been watching my channel for a while. Well, hello, Brooke. Um, it's nice. Nice to hear from you. Uh, she says this is her first comment. She says, but she did want to thank me for June Waffle. Um, she says last year in June she moved to Milwaukee um, for about two months um, to help care for her friend slash co-worker uh, to recover from a stem cell transplant. Uh, after long days at the hospital and further infusions and appointments um, it was nice to come back to the apartment um, and watch my waffles um, uh, sorry watch my waffles she says unfortunately she developed a graft versus host disease uh, which is where her body kept fighting the stem cell transplant um, and oh, she passed away in April of this year. I am sorry to hear that. Um, she says she was devastated. She says watching my whip and waffles has helped her get through some tough times. Uh, she says thank you for all you and the family do. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to leave a comment. I can imagine it was also hard sort of reliving some of that and putting it down into words. Um, so I do appreciate you taking the time to do that. And I am so sorry for the loss of your friend. There's actually quite a few condolences underneath as well, which is, which is amazing from our fellow Zesties. So just know that, you know, it might be quiet, but it doesn't mean that you're alone. All of us zesties are there. Right, I'm doing it because this multi-placer has just been 
calling me out the whole time. So I am fishing out all, well not all, but like most of the putty that is in here. Uh, and I know some people do potentially reuse. Uh, I know some people just sort of roll it back and pop it back in again. Um, but there's not that much that's sort of clean putty compared to the stuff that's not. So it looks like we're going for one of the, what are we going for? I have a few. Uh, let's go, in fact, let's go for Jasmine and Ruby because that's been mentioned today at being one that's liked. Ooh, fresh. So I haven't yet used this one because I don't need to replace it that often. Um, so what I tend to do is I tend to go nearish to the edge because you know, waste not, want not and sort of push as much in as I can. Um, but then I go over it again if I feel like it will need a little bit more. And again, I'm still going right from the edge. Spread it out and basically push it in. And then I need a little bit more in that corner. And what I'm trying to do when I'm doing this is get it fully in the pen, but as flat as possible. And sometimes I do need to trim a bit off with my scissors. Uh, and sometimes like now, it's pretty much seems to have lay flat in there. And all I've done is taken a little, little nub off the end of the putty. That's the way that I found the best way for me to do it. Um, I have in the past stabbed it right in the sort of middle of the putty and wiggled it about to get hold of it. Um, but I found I end up with more excess when I'm doing that. And, of course, it doesn't leave my putty in the best of shape at the end of it. So by actually purposefully starting to get it from an edge and cut it off from the corner, um, it gives me the most putty sort of left as well, potentially, for future refills. Uh, sometimes I have found once I then start using it um, that either there's too much in it and it starts squirting over the sides. Um, in that case I will trim some off or I find that it's not picking up all the way through and I've actually got a bit of a divot somewhere and not realised. Um, and if I do it soon enough like after using it rather than putting up with it for like three, four diamond painting sessions. Uh, I find the putty will stick to it fine again to sort of top it up. Uh, if I leave it for too long and the putty starts, you know, getting a bit more dirty, um, then I find it's harder to then add putty afterwards. Um, but yeah, I have found the best way to do it is to get it flat. You don't want it, what I used to do, and I think this was my problem, even with the other multi-placers, so the ones we sell in the shop, rather than this one that Kim kindly sent me, um, is I would fill it so that it ended up with a little bit of a bowl over the top. Uh, and then of course, as soon as the diamonds go in it, as soon as the diamonds get pushed into the putty, it would even more so squirt out and end up squirting everywhere um, which then caused me more problems or it would potentially get stuck to my canvas uh, and would just give me a headache whereas now because I only get it to be nice and flat um, then any pushing that the diamonds do they sort of end up pushing around the edges of the diamonds rather than squirting over the multiplacer. Hopefully that made sense because it may not have done because words. <laughs> I filmed a couple of these one after the other to get ahead um, so that I can have the weekend off and not have to film Mondays on Sunday. <laughs> so I, I may be losing it a little bit. Um, Right, Kaz, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she hopes 
that we are well. Thank you, Kaz. Uh, she says she's ordered some limited edition items um, from the launch and she's looking forward to getting them. Um, she's already ordered and received, as you said, her letter cover papers. She's received J. She ordered the alphabet ones. When somebody messaged me to let me know that the alphabet cover papers weren't showing as sort of a coming soon on the site, um, and we actually created sort of the listing, or you know the yeah the listing for them in the background quite a bit ago, but hadn't released them until we'd actually sort of got a stock of a few of each ready to go. Um, and as you can imagine, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, plus we have one that is sort of all the alphabet combined. And so that's 27 individual listings within this listing. Uh, and then we have it in black and white and rainbow. So that's what, 54, 54 different ones. So anyway, when I went to put them on the website so that they could be seen by people, um, the stock had already been set on them and I was not changing the stock to then have to change them all back on launch. I figured if somebody orders them a couple of days early, then that's fine because nobody's going to miss out. It's not an item that somebody would miss out on. It's something that would still be available on launch. So I was like, yeah, not doing it. Um... And yeah, Kaz actually got there and ordered them beforehand. Um, so yeah, so she got the letter J uh, for a hubby, who's James. Uh, she got a K for herself, um, either Kaz or Karen, whichever she feels like going for that day. Uh, she said an S and O. Uh, she got those for when she starts on her high colour painting from Diamond Art Studio. So she's going for SOS on her. I love that. I love the, the O is actually, the letter O is actually just a really pretty cover paper anyway. Um, it looks a bit like circles. It just looks like lots and lots of circles. So there's a few of them that are really nice, like standalone on their own. Um, and I do like the fact that you can make things like SOS for a painting that might need a bit more oomph from you than another one may do. Um, love that idea. Uh, Liz, she says, hi Rebecca, she says she can't believe day 10 has been completed. Uh, she says, and yes, she says she finished before me. She says now she's deciding on the next canvas that she's going to kit up and work alongside. She says, though she is so tempted just to carry on with her designated June waffle picture uh, as she is loving it so much she said especially all the enhancement drills that she's adding to it and that's the thing when you do pick like sort of one diamond painting for the month if it is one that you are loving sometimes it can be hard to in effect only do one section a day sometimes it you know you, you might be squeezing in and struggling to get that one section a day done uh, but then sometimes it, it's like you're struggling to not do more because you want to uh, and in those instances I suppose it's a couple of different things if you're really enjoying it uh, and maybe you kit up another painting that's not quite as enjoyable um, and then you get to keep your really, really nice one for, you know, your treat once a day. Uh, and then your other one that maybe, you know, you want the picture done, but it's loads of colour blocking or loads of confetti. Like something that you're not necessarily in the mood for. Uh, it can be a nice mix up. Or if you have got loads of ones that you enjoy doing, then if you steam ahead with it, you steam ahead with it. And then just kit up another one doing afterwards because why not why not do one and then do another uh jess 
she said August through May is their school year in Florida. Uh, she said they don't have those half terms uh, in the public school system, she says, in the, in the US. Uh, it's two semesters separated by a winter break of about two weeks and then the summer break is typically two months off. Um, she says there is also a fall break um, around Thanksgiving and a spring break. I was going to say I have heard of spring break. Okay, so rather than like, because we have three terms, uh, end of a term tends to have two weeks off, roughly. Some places are different to others. Um, end of the term tends to have two weeks off and then end of summer you get six to seven weeks off. Um, and then those terms are each broken up with a week, uh, which is classed as the half term break. So maybe it is you just get longer off in the summer because you don't get all those little bits throughout the year. Sometimes I don't know what is better or worse, to be honest. I suppose you get used to what you get used to um, and then it ends up, it is what it is. I've just noticed I missed, I missed one up there. I did get that little one up there though. I do also need to remember that I have all these rows over here because my mind keeps seeing this dark layer here and stopping. So hopefully I remember about the fact that I have all this over here and don't forget to do it, but we'll see how we go. Um, Liv says, wow, she says, how is it even the 10th of June already? She said, this year is flying by. Does seem to be flying by for quite a few people throughout this year. Does it mean we've been busy? Does it mean we've been productive? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that depends on the individual person. For me, it depends on the individual week. Some weeks have I been productive? Yes. Other weeks? Not a chance. Uh, Kathy, she said um, she did go to Diamond Art Club and try to order artist room. She says, but it's sold out, so she has put her name down for reorder. Uh, she said her granddaughter is a budding artist, so it's for her. That'll be a really, it'll be a really, really nice one to do for her. I am really, really enjoying doing this one. Uh, there is a couple of other ones that Mrs. Butter D has brought out, uh, and I do really like them. Um, they're really nice. I just don't know if I like them enough to add to my stash when I am trying to be conscious of said stash. Uh, and I'm trying to get it down, which I am not being as productive with as I would possibly like. I keep trying to pick up five diamonds instead of four and I keep ending up with one dropping off. <coughs> Uh, Liv, she says she's thinking of trying to kit up using the tray system. She said as tipping the drills from a pot to a tray uh, and back again slows her down loads. Yes, quite often I think that is the one thing that takes us the most time um, when diamond painting because I'm definitely faster on this due to the fact that I have them already in trays. Uh, and I would be ease, even faster if I wasn't whipping and waffling as I went along. Um, it's not always practical depending on how many colours that you have. Um, and sometimes, you know, that the bottle system or one of the other sort of systems can be easier um, in the fact that it's you know it's more compact of an area to look and find the symbol 
Um, I find even though I have put these trays um, on my tray racks in some form of order, apart from knowing that the one on my left is letters and numbers and the one on my right is every other symbol, I still forget where they are. And I've been doing this daily now up until, what did I say we were on the 24th? I've been doing it up until the 24th and apart from a couple that I know where they are, it, it hasn't sunk in my head the same way it does when I'm working with the bowls. So, um, Doro B. Punt said she went on a ride on her bike after work uh, and had a little chat with the neighbour while bringing the bike back in the shed. Um, she said then she settled down to listen to the waffle uh, and is placing a few diamonds. Uh, she says, but she needs more time, she says, to finish this section um, or she'll just continue it tomorrow. Sort of go with the flow. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of quilting with Karis when I finish Wilmot filming this whip and waffle. Uh, she wants to get a little bit of hers done before we go to our sewing lesson in the morning. So I'm filming this early so that I can just do whatever we fancy on the weekend, which will probably involve cleaning the house, but will also potentially involve um, some quilting too. Right, I was getting that one. I did remember I had one on this line that needed these two dots. And this is actually one of the easiest ones for me to miss. I think just because it is two tiny dots. I'm all right when there's loads of it, but when there's just the one and I've done others close by, um, I find I'm missing it a lot easier. Uh, Gray Legrand, she says, my goodness, she says, that was fast. Uh, the video on the 10th. She said she would already be done with her June kit if she could put her Legos down. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to mix and match these hobbies. You definitely do. Um, so yeah, I've still got a couple of Legos. And I know Lego will come back around and I'll end up doing uh, a couple more kits and really getting into it um, but at the minute quilting is what sort of takes over when I have a big chunk of time at the moment <coughs> especially when Carrot is up for doing it at the time as well um, Jaina she says well the interview unfortunately didn't turn out oh I am sorry she says, literally because the manager wasn't even at the store. That is flipping annoying. That really annoys me when they waste your time. Um, she says, but all is good. She said she did get happy kitty cuddles and kisses, so not much was lost. She said onwards and upwards. Well, I think that was flipping rude, to be honest. Rude, rude, rude. Really annoys me when you put all this effort into Things like getting ready, getting yourself hyped up for an interview, go in and the person who's supposed to be doing it isn't even there. Um, she says the peacock painting is well underway uh, and alongside it she said she found a bag of spare diamonds from her first ever diamond painting um, that she sorts through a couple of times a week. She says, without storage, she says her ADHD could never open the bag. She says, too many unorganised colours in one spot. A little bit of madness. Uh, she says she can't wait to see how the rest of the June waffle turns out. She says, as always, thank you for all that you do. Well, thank you for being here um, and... I'd be tempted to give that manager a piece of your mind, but then again, I get annoyed at things like that. <laughs> at least you got your kitty cuddles. Uh, Nova Scotian Hiker says, June waffle is going so fast. 
they thought they may not finish um, their painting as they picked one that was 56 by 56, um, a little large for a 30 day painting. Uh, however, they sprained their ankle ooh, at the end of May uh, and they are off work until the 15th. Uh, so she's been working ahead and enjoying the June whip and waffle. Uh, they've even been, she's even been trying her hand at multi-placing. We're all on a roll uh, a bit. She says, thank you for all that you do. Well, I am truly sorry that you have hurt your ankle. Hopefully there wasn't enough pain and the reward of being able to be off work and diamond paint is greater. Um, because... That is, the being able to diamond paint more is definitely a win. <coughs> uh, Sarah, she says, happy day 10, Zesties. Uh, she says, we have finally gotten to the June waffle comments. <laughs> yes, it took to the 10th to catch up on the backlog of comments from Sunday's Whip and Waffles because I couldn't get any super long ones in. And I wanted some comments to be able to use. Um, hang on, where, I, where am I up to? I want this one. Uh, she says, she admits, she said she wouldn't have guessed that it took this many days to get to them. She says, but she is definitely not complaining. Uh, she said, in fact, she says, this feels like a hack. <laughs> She says, the more we comment, she says, the longer the waffles will be in July. <laughs> she says, let's get those, let's get to those nice long comments, everyone. She says, as always, thank you as always for a great waffle, Rebecca. She says, the painting is looking great. Well, thank you, Sarah. And do you know what? You're not wrong. Um, because... I will be um, doing my best <laughs> to catch up on June Waffle comments and things throughout Sunday Weapon Waffles. Uh, so I do see a few waffles that may be a couple of hours long in our future. Um, at the moment, considering we're on comments from the 10th on the 24th, which means the ratio seems a little bit off at getting through the day's comments in a day. Um, partly because the beginning of June's waffle always has more comments. Um, but also, you know, just the way the sections are going and the amount of comments I'm getting through. So, yeah, I, I have a feeling that we may have a few long ones possibly into the next few months and not just in July but it's all good we will we will embrace the longer comments and make it work right I am going to keep going I'm sort of doing this bottom row uh, but I am going to go and start making sure I get this side part uh, I do find while I often start at the bottom when I'm at a corner I like to get all the sort of outside bits done if I can and then work in the middle. So I'm going to focus primarily on the colours down this side as well as of course doing them in the middle when they need it. Before I then start working up and filling in some of the gaps. Though so my multi-placing is well off. That a nudge. I do have a little like little ruler guide thing that I can nudge them with as well. Uh, Lady Dax says she really doesn't like sugar on her pancakes. Uh, she said she thinks it stems from when her mum used to give her sugar sandwiches Ooh. Uh, as kids. She says she just can't stand the grittiness of sugar in her mouth. Uh, she says, so they have lemon and maple syrup with a drizzle of cream over them. She says, naughty but nice. 
she says, while kitting up a diamond painting for pea jelly, she said she noticed that there was a tiny hole in each of the baggies, um, just like they had used a teeny tiny hole punch on them. Um, she says there was absolutely no static in any of the drills. Um, so maybe, she says, rather than putting um, a dryer sheet in there before kitting up, uh, she says just stab them with something pointy um, a few days beforehand. That is an idea because you can get some bags, grip seal bags, uh, and things like that that do have like little holes in them. Um, I don't know whether it's part of the manufacturing process that they end up catching those little holes. Uh, and maybe it is allowing some airflow through them um, that helps the static to go. Maybe we should do a test. I should put that down as a video to do. A little test on which gets rid of static better. Um, and maybe put in some in a bag, uh, put in the dryer sheet in a bag and put in a hole in a bag and then maybe giving it a day and see what happens. And if they are non-staticky really quick, then maybe I can try shorter times. I mm. have to try and remember to actually note that one down. Uh, she says, if your stickers, she says, are lifting off, uh, she says, definitely reinforce them. She says, she can't imagine the nightmare. She said, if you were to go in there one day um, and find that they'd all fallen off. There's mainly only a couple that tend to really not like to stick. Um, the purple glitter tray is a big one. It doesn't like to stick to. Uh, and then one of the pink ones, not all of them, but one of the pink ones, it doesn't seem to like to stick on. But the ones on the left, or my alphabet ones, it seems perfectly fine. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, but so far, I've still not lost any. Um, I've knocked one off when getting hold of it, but I think it's just because my finger has been just that little bit damp just from the heat that we've had uh, and just holding the tray um, and it seems to have just picked up the sticker um, and because there's not much resistance on the tray itself it's just pulled it off but okay so I've got all my edge and now I can start to fill up some of these um, Kaz, she says, good evening, Rebecca. She says she hopes that I'm keeping well. Uh, she says she's just finished binge watching the last few days. Um, could you stick? I put a new glue dot in this pen. In fact, I put two in. I caught hold of a glue dot and twisted it and popped it in this pen. It just disappeared. <laughs> just disappeared into the pen tip. So I ended up putting a second one in. Um, sorry, she's just finished binge watching the last few days of the whip and chatter uh, she's had a few stressful days at work uh, she says oh she says one of the babies suddenly took ill on Tuesday uh, but thankfully they are on the mend well I'm so glad things are in heading in the right direction for the littlies that must be the hardest part ever <coughs> is dealing with when things don't go as planned. Right. Oh, we've got a longer one. Uh, Mysterious Days, uh, she says, the waffle. She says, uh, she feels like it went by so quickly. I do think the 10th was one of my shorter ones. I did have one that even I was surprised how quick I got it finished. It just seemed to be a super speedy one. Um, she says she knows that most people, she said, are on the Facebook group. Uh, she says, but for those that aren't, she passed her science test with a score of 163 out of 200. 
uh, which is 72%. Uh, she said they're not even honours scoring, she said, but she passed and that's all that matters, which is true. Just get that qualification. Um, I mean, the likes of what grades I got in exams and all that sort of stuff. The people that were the most interested in what grades I got um, was going to college. <laughs> After college, they didn't care. They didn't seem to care. It was just a matter of, did you get the pass? If you got the pass, then bonus. They didn't care what grades they were at. They were just bothered about whether you'd passed it. And the further you get on with your career or your life or your age, the less they're bothered. Um, so, yeah. You're going for a pass. We're not going for a hard, you know, excelled at it, especially when you don't like science. Um, it's not like you're looking for a job in the science field that may be interested in what score you got. Um, she says also she's been looking online at driving school uh, and found a school with online driver's education uh, and behind the wheel training. See, that's what's weird. All of ours pretty much is behind the wheel training. Like it's common to have a driving instructor here. Um, and to learn to drive with an instructor. You can learn with somebody who's been driving for a certain amount of time. Um, but yeah, it's it's more popular for you to learn to drive with a driving instructor who has a car with dual controls um, than it is for you to learn to drive with a member of family, for example. It's just the way it works here. Um, but she said they even offered to pick up and drop off from the driving lesson, uh, pick up, yeah, pick up and drop off from live driving lessons um, and will be the ones to take their actual driving test for an extra. Plus, uh, they can get a free defensive driving course uh, and insurance discount. So she said it is 400 to $600 depending on how many hours behind the wheel training. Um, and it isn't cheap, but totally worth it, she said. So she'll sign up in a few weeks. Uh, yeah, totally worth it. Though, having dri driving lessons in the UK, one, getting your test is, is a faff. Megan tried to get hers around COVID and... I think she ended up getting a cancellation, but like it was it was not pretty trying to get one because of course they had a backlog from shutting all the driving tests and whatever else during COVID. So, and I still don't think they're over the backlog, um, but driving instructors, oh, the prices have gone through the roof since Megan and Karis learned to drive. The prices have just gone sky high since covid and i say it's the normal way here to learn to drive you can learn with somebody else but normally it's done as more a little bit of extra practice than it is to do your full lessons like your full lessons and the tests and everything's done with your driving instructor um but yeah absolutely fantastic on the science results um and we will all eagerly await uh, the results of maths when that time comes um, because we know that one will be a little bit longer but you have done a lot of the big jumps now so just one more big jump to go and you will be singing singing and dancing and treating yourself <laughs> um Diamond Painting with the Edwards says, good evening, Rebecca. Hello, how are you? I'm just going to grab my tray. Uh, she says, so many graduations in their family uh, have been cutting into the diamond painting time. They all seem to come at once. It's like big birthdays in our house. Bigger birthdays all seem to end up falling on the same sort of, within the same sort of year just to mess with us. Oh, she's also uh, had an unfortunate bout of 
food poisoning uh, but it has given her a day to watch my videos and diamond paint a square. Uh, well I hope you are feeling loads better um, and yeah the things have cleared up and sorted themselves out. Uh, she also says she says her husband loves the new Diamond Art Club Peel Away cover. I knew there would be somebody that liked it. Not a bad thing, but like I knew there would be somebody that loved it because if it was something that nobody ever liked, then it would never have been brought out as an option, would it? So there must be somebody at Diamond Art Club that loves it for it to have even got to the point of, you know, them, them getting it made and getting it happen. Um, but yeah, I am glad that somebody likes them. Um, uh, she used to use cover paper. Um, she likes to use cover paper, sorry, as she also has the wandering eye. Uh, he doesn't diamond paint as much as she does. Um, but she wants to keep her hair and not rip it out. She said, so he has his own desk uh, and she has hers. Do you know, a marriage isn't about sharing everything. It really isn't. Uh, I do think there are some things that, frankly, you should each keep your nose out of the other person's business. <laughs> there are certain things that you need for yourself uh, and you need them left in your own, your own way. Uh, and you need to be able to put something down and it be in exactly the same place you put it when you go back to get it again. Everybody should have their own little bit of space, even if it is a desk. Um, Julia says she's finished the one that she was working on uh, and she started another uh, because she is trying to make a dent in her stash. You are doing great by the sounds of it. Uh, I think half the problem with stash, as well as making a dent in it, which is, you know, a challenge in itself, um, is, is that stash can grow without you quite realising how fast it's growing. Uh, and by potentially adding too many compared to the ratio in which they actually vacate. Um, Diamond Pate in the Edwards with the Edwards also says she says she has nine cats um, and she would dearly love a pit bull. However, um, her husband disagrees with wanting another animal um, and her cats like to hide diamond painting pot lids uh, and beat around her diamond painting pens. Uh, she has two resin pens with super glue and electrical tape. <laughs> she said it's all fun in Indiana. See, I'm the one that drops my pens. Uh, it's, it's not a pet that tends to cause damage to my pens. It's myself. Um, when I just decide to eat them, just to use that word again. Um, she also says she loves the freedom of June me time. Uh, she said even though she doesn't work, um, she doesn't always have free time to do what she wants um, and not what her body tells her she's going to do due to her illness. Um, she also says she loves doing baby quilts. Uh, she says she thinks that a Frankenstein tray would be interesting to see. Uh, she said Halloween trick or treat. Ooh, not heard of that. Um, don't tend to celebrate Halloween hugely here. Do a little bit, but not, not a huge amount. Um, Kim, she says, uh, maybe putting dryer sheets in in the baggies of the paint gem could be part of your unboxing. That is actually a really good shout. That is something that I could do with getting in the routine of. The thing is, I would want to go back and do the others as well. Um, so maybe if I do a video on sort of testing whether stabbing a hole in the bag or putting a dryer sheet in sort of gets rid of the static the quickest. Um, 
I might need to sort of get out a, a kit and then find the sort of two worst offending bags and try it with each of them. Um, maybe once I've done my little sort of test and figure out which one is A, the easiest, um, as well as, you know, successful in what it needs to do, then maybe I could do a bit of the unboxing and put my other paint gem diamonds somewhere else as sort of a <coughs> to-do pile and either do the you know one a day or do an extra one when I do an unboxing until I've got through them um, because it'd be a shame to find a solution for the static and then have my decision wheel pick a paint gem set that I haven't done the solution to the static for <laughs> because then I'd still have the frustration of doing it that way so oh I obviously missed some of this letter C last time uh diamond painting with the Edwards says she says hi Rebecca she said she misses so many um diamonds that she goes in the order of the pots in her case uh, and she gets as many as she can see uh, after the first go around she goes over the pots one more time um, to get the ones that she's missed <coughs> uh, she figures that she would give herself grace for missing ones that play hide and go seek with her uh, she says she has 48 year old eyes <laughs> bless see I do that however I I find I have to fix the ones that I've missed quite quick, otherwise they just mock me. They just stare at me and mock me. Plus, I need to say Kim's voice, um, because especially with the whip and waffle, Kim will be telling me that I've missed one. Uh, D, she says, hi everyone. She says, starting with some great news. Awesome. She says, she's passed her Australian citizenship test goodness me words um and she's very happy about that absolutely awesome um she says she'd taken the day off from work um so she's working on her whip while listening to the waffle well fantastic news are you going for residency now is that part of residency because uh, I know not all people do, like some people have the right to be in Australia and live in Australia for years, but never actually go for citizenship. Um, I know my parents did, um, but that's because they can still have dual as well, you see. So they weren't giving up the UK. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic news. Um, Australia is, is a fun place, in my opinion. Right, we have done the fish tank. I think that's so cute. I didn't even realise that that was there either. Um, so we are up to here later today. In fact, we're, well, not later today, the tomorrow, which will be next week for me, uh, we'll be doing the 25th and then the 26th. So we will end up with this bottom section sort of finished. And then it's only four more days after that and we'll get the top part finished up considering we spent a lot of time at the top we're going to be spending quite a bit of time at the bottom now to get this this part finished off give the girl I was going to say her legs but it's not get her bum on the chair um, so that she can craft away Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this Whip and Waffle. Thank you for your comments. I will just keep going through them. I say we will get to the end of Whip and Waffle comments at some point, or we won't. They will just keep going. We will see. Uh, but we definitely have diamond painting to do months on months from now. Um, so there'll be plenty to keep me busy. I have a big enough stash. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all again tomorrow.